All right, man, peace. You know, brothers, it's becoming abundantly clear to me that this offseason is going to be pivotal not only for Mr. Rob Palenka, but also for Kobe Bryant, because as I've stated for a while now, it's very clear to me that Kobe Bryant has his eyes on eventually purchasing or attempting to purchase the L.A. Lakers franchise. And in order for him to do that, he needs Rob Palenka to be a success as the general manager. So there are a lot of people who have a lot at stake in Rob Palenka's performance as the GM for that team. Not just Jeannie Buss, but also Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Rich Paul, Anthony Davis, etc. So now that they've been able to allocate Mr. Anthony Davis to be the, the second player in the LeBron James triumvirate, this is the third time that LeBron James is trying to create a triumvirate that he hopes will result in a championship. The true test for Rob will be whether or not he can sign that top-notch third player or whether or not he's going to try to piece together a team with some of the appropriate pieces that he knows LeBron James will need to utilize the LeBron James system, which is the only system that LeBron James can play. Well, they recently stopped Jeannie Buss in an attempt to glean what is going on within her mind. What is her mindset right now at this point as the Lakers head into the pivotal 2019-2020 season while she was on the red carpet at the NBA Awards? And Jeannie Buss, showing a certain level of prudence, decided that she was going to play it very close to the vest. She knows that there's talk that in reality it's the wife of Kurt Rambis, Linda Rambis, who's running the team. She knows that she does not want her friend to be viewed as the face of the organization. I did a video a while back saying, will girl power destroy the LA Lakers? Well, Jeannie Buss is intelligent enough to realize that if she and Linda Rambis are going to call any shots, it has to be from behind the curtain. Because if they make any decisions that are incorrect, it's going to hurt their cause as trying to foster the notion that women can actually be shot callers in a professional sports league like the NBA. So she has to push all the energy, all the chips towards Rob Palenka so that if he fails, she can blame him. He can be the fall guy. But Kobe needs Rob Palenka to succeed. Everybody needs him to succeed right now because there's no doubt in my mind that Kobe is going to try to buy the LA Lakers in 12 to 15 years if he can. So this is going to be the first step towards that. And believe me, if the Lakers start to succeed, Kobe will try to associate himself more with the franchise. Kobe's also operating behind the curtains. So anyway, they're going to talk about it, and I'm going to chime in. Jeannie Buss also on the red carpet at the NBA Awards last night. Looking Jeannie Buss down Thadiana. <laughs> I told you guys already. Buss is not her last name. Buss is her middle name. Her real last name is down Thadiana. Fabulous. And she gave Rob Palenka a vote of confidence. Take a listen. <laughs> Frank Vogel is a great new head coach. Really? Okay. That's pretty good, Jeannie Buss. Sound like you wrote all that down on a sheet of loose leaf and read it over repeatedly to yourself so that you so that you could recite it in case someone asks you about what you think about what's happening with your team. And I understand that. You don't really know anything about basketball, but you do want to project yourself as someone who could be a capable owner. And let me say this. Jeannie Buss is pretty much the only owner in the NBA who's expected to know about basketball and to make the correct decisions. Now, is that fair or unfair? A little bit of both. Because she is the one who decided that she was going to cast her brother aside and claim that he was incompetent. So naturally, people are going to assume that you view yourself as competent when it comes to basketball affairs. But we also know that she's a woman, so people are expecting her to not know what the hell she's doing. And probably for good reason. <laughs> so there's a little bit of both there, tugging at the fate of the Lakers as well as her own ego. So, um, you know, there's um, a lot of things that, a lot of changes, Laker fans would be patient, you know, it's going to get there, we will not finish tomorrow. But just to get back to the point, Frank Vogel is not some superstar head coach. But who knows, maybe he's just never had the transcendent talent that he's needed to show how great a coach he can be. Either way, he's not going to get any credit coaching LeBron James, so he can forget about that. The best that he'll get out of this tenure is hopefully for him, he'll be coaching past this season. Which, if I be a betting man, 
will not be the case. If I be a betting man, sometime by next season, Jason Kidd will take over as the head coach of the LA Lakers. All right, J.D. Buss saying she is very confident in Rob Palenka. BS or Real Talk signs up. What do you got? Ooh, all right, David. Go make- I agree with uh, Dave McMenamin. I think that is real talk. I think that Jeannie Buss has no choice but to be confident in Rob Palenka because I believe that she's confident in Kobe Bryant. And I'm pretty sure that Kobe Bryant is speaking to her at least two or three times a week to assuage whatever sense of, of insecurity or lack of certainty that she might have. So I do believe that she believes that Rob Palenka will get the job done because the fact of the matter is what other option does she have? It's real talk, but that is part of the reason why the franchise is here right now. <laughs> because you are putting full confidence into someone who has not proven yourself on the job yet. You could say that he's shown me some things, and he's done some good things in terms of getting out of some of the bad contracts that the previous regime had signed Luol Deng and Timofey Moscow to. Let me say this, in quote-unquote defense of Rob Palenka. He's only been involved with the organization for a little bit over a year. So there's only so much greatness that he's going to be able to display when it comes to his ability to to plan ahead and things of that nature. You do have to give a new general manager time to to remove a lot of the old toxicity of the previous regime and try to bring in, you know, hopefully something that will reinvigorate the franchise. We do know that Jim Buss made a lot of decisions that have hampered the L.A. Lakers. Magic Johnson came in and he did what he normally does, which is believed that a smile and a lot of empty rhetoric will cover up for the fact that he's incompetent. Okay? Magic Johnson, <laughs> Magic Johnson, if he's not playing point guard for the LA Lakers, has shown throughout his life that he's relatively incompetent. There's no disrespect to the brother. I know that he is a multi, multi-millionaire. He styles himself or fashions himself as, as some type of great businessman. What Magic is is a great mascot. That's what he is. And there's no disrespect to him at all. But just to get back to the point, Rob Palenka... He needs more time to at least be able to display how competent he is. But this is a very, very important moment in Rob Palenka's future or potential future as the Lakers GM. This offseason heading into next year. What does he decide to do? Either you sign a Kyrie Irving or a Kawhi Leonard or you try to just build up the current team that you have with some important free agents. What do you decide to do? But to have 100% confidence in, in him now... That, to me, is lowering your standard. If your standard is championships, okay, give me a championship. Give me a core that I know for sure can get it done. He hasn't done that yet, so I think it's misplaced confidence. Yeah, I think the jury's still out on him. I think right now, you know, knowing what the Lakers have done in the past, winning, they're about winning and getting to the top. Uh, He has to prove himself, and right now he's still trying to put some pieces together. I feel like the fans are going to get frustrated before he's able to put a team on the floor. Well, I'll say this. If the fans get frustrated, who exactly are we supposed to blame? Because after this Anthony Davis trade, LeBron cannot claim that he does not have hope anymore. So who exactly will the fans be frustrated with if the team does not perform up to snuff? LeBron is still considered, at the very lowest, still a top five player in the NBA. Anthony Davis is considered by many people a currently top five player in the NBA. So if you have two top five players on your team and you're not winning... 55 plus games. I mean, look at the Houston Rockets, what they did a couple of years ago. They had two top 15, top 20 players in the league, and they won 60 plus games just a couple of years ago with Chris Paul and James Harden. James Harden is a player who would be considered anywhere from a top five to top 10 player by most people's accounts, or according to the the understanding of most people. Chris Paul, just a couple of years ago, would probably have been considered a top 20 player, maybe even top 15 depending on how much you still value his skill set. Right now, the Lakers have two players on their team that one could debate are both top five in the league. So this is going to be a referendum on LeBron James, just as much as, if not more, than Rob Palenka. Right. To me, getting Anthony Davis was part of it, but yes. how they then fill out the rest of the roster is what separates front offices and not, right? Mm-hmm. So we will see. I want to move on. But anyway, that's basically it on that. We'll see how things go with Jeannie Buss, Down Thadiana, Rob Palenka, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, so on and so forth. I do believe that the Lakers will once again be (laughs) the most interesting conversational piece in the NBA. 
I also will predict that they'll probably win somewhere in the vicinity of 52 to maybe even 58 games next season. That's just an, an outside guesstimation right now. Now, if they're able to sign a Kawhi Leonard, who the hell knows what they're going to do. They're going to have to go over the cap to, to sign supplementary pieces to help a squad like that that has three top 10 players in the NBA. So there's still a lot to watch when it comes to them. So peace.